Let's go, Matias, let's go! Matias Uribe should be using his feet to run. His hands should be playing endless melodies on the piano. That's the potential as parents Edgar and Catalina Uribe still see in their son. Right now, for me, it's really hard to watch all the videos, but at the same time, when I feel like that, I look at him and I say, he's here. The last two months, Matias has been here at the Monroe Carroll Jr. Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. He came here after he was diagnosed with pneumonia, streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, and went into cardiac arrest. He was put on an ECMO machine, which pumps blood throughout the body for almost two weeks, saving his life, but not his limbs. That flow wasn't getting to all his extremities, and um, they had to amputate all of his four extremities. I say to the doctors, please don't use the, the word uh, amputation. Let's use uh, remove. I don't think there's anything they could have done sooner. I think he got really sick really fast. Dr. Katie Boyle is the head of Matias's care team who was trying to save every inch of his limbs. What Matias is dealing with is something she hardly ever sees. It's extremely rare. Um, so sometimes when you get the flu, it does set you up for a bacterial infection. Um, but even then, most kids don't get nearly as sick as Matias did. After almost a dozen surgeries, his parents say Matias has only two more. When he leaves the hospital, he will jump right back to what he was doing before, even if it's with prosthetics. And I tell him we're going to be your arms and legs and until we figure all this out. In Nashville, Marissa Sulek, WSMV4.